Sylvia here. Today I'm trying to perfect the winged eyeliner. I've watched quite a few tutorials. I mean, I've seen quite a few tutorials of these like eyeliner hacks that are supposed to make your wing liner on point. And I decided to put them to the test because you know what? I call bullshit on some of them. So today I'm testing out a bunch of different methods so that you guys don't have to and you'll find out which ones actually work and which ones don't. So let's get into it. So the first is the ever so popular tape one. Oh, got fluff on my tape. So I'm just gonna, you know, put this tape on, line it up with the bottom of my eye, I think. Like, fuck. Like, is that good? Oh, that feels weird. So I just draw across this line. Then I guess connect it here. Oh, this already is looking awful. It does not feel natural using tape on your face, let me tell you that. Not the most comfortable thing I've done. Ready for the reveal? I don't think this wing looks good on me whatsoever. Maybe if I did it like more like upwards. I have hope in this one. Let me give it one more try. This time I'm gonna put it more in an upward angle. Okay. The reveal. Oh, that's better. Still doesn't suit my eye that much, to be honest. Just think it looks a little bit off. But it's not bad. It's not horrible, but not the most ideal. Okay, the second one I saw from Steph Lang on YouTube, and it's to use two pieces of tape. So I'm gonna continue using this one, since I'm not a wasteful person. And then you use another piece to create a triangle. So I think she put it in line with like the middle here. Oh wait, do I like, where, how do I place my eye? Do I like tilt it down and close it? Okay, I'm gonna do this. Okay, let me just be the first to tell you guys, this is very uncomfortable. Like, oh, hello. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna use the gel liner because I think it'll be easier to fill in. So this is pretty easy. Just gotta like color it in. It's very fast, like I am done. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Huh. Ooh, straight line on top. Okay, okay. And... Mmm! Not bad. I think I might have made it a little bit too far out from my eye shape. But I mean, I could see how if I placed the tape correctly, that it could actually look pretty good. So I would just fill in... Oh, no, I'm just ruining now. It's a little bit more dramatic than I would like. But it does give you a very, very sharp wing, which is nice. Okay, this one I saw on that Tarts channel. Okay, my eye is getting really irritated. And basically it's to take a eyeliner pen and just lay it flat so it creates the wing for you and just fill it in. So, sounds easy enough. Which way am I laying flat? This way or this way? I think I'll do this way. Okay, and... Huh. Huh. Not working out for me. Okay, I am not good at this. Oh fuck! I pulled it out more than I should have. My bad. That's not bad. This is more of like a subtle wing. Like if I was doing an everyday casual look, I could fuck with this. This is more my type of wing. More subtle. Okay, the next one I also saw from Hearts video, and it's basically to use dots. So I'm gonna use a more liquid. Uh, liner and I'm gonna create dots to connect on my eyelid. So, well obviously I need a dot in the middle, right? And then I'm gonna dot here. Oh, that was a fat dot. I think this only works when you like know where to put the dots. Okay, connect the dots. Oh, fuck. Dot to dot to dot. Ah, not bad. Although this one only works if you can, if you really have like an idea of where your wing liner should go, that it would then be able to dot properly. But actually this one might be my favorite wing so far because it follows the shape of my eye a lot better. But I think you have to like be able to visually see where your wing is. So if you don't know where the fuck your wing should be, you're going to be lost. The next one requires a business card. So, um... Aaron from Steak, you are the chosen one, sorry. And I guess you kind of line it just like 
the, what is it called, tape? Like, see, the problem with this is like, what if I decide to line it like this? Then we're just actually all fucked. Like, I guess I need a bit more direction as to if I should do it here, or here, or here. Like, I'm lost. That requires a really steady hand. Miyoko? No, I don't like this at all already. Fuck, okay. I mean, I've already gone through with it this far. I have to just go with it all the way. Okay. It's not bad. A little bit more aggressive than I would typically like. I guess what I've learned from the methods where you line it up because of my eye shape, it just gives me too much of a crazy line. So the ones where you have to line up just don't really work with my eye shape, my hooded lids and whatnot. So, unless you're going for a more dramatic look in which then use these methods. Okay, so this one is also one I saw in the Steph Lang video. Basically, it's to just draw your eyeliner and you're allowed to fuck up, which is nice. So I'm starting to like this method already. Watch me get this perfect. Not bad, guys! <laughs> Let me just like purposely fuck it up a bit. What you do, or what she told me to do via video, is to take a brush and to take a makeup remover. So I'm gonna dip my brush into this makeup remover a little bit. And then basically, you just fix your fuck ups with this and you can just like, I guess. I mean, she told me that you could create a really strong wing, but we'll see. This method is really dirty though. Like what am I gonna do with all this extra like nastiness that's going on? Ooh. Ooh, it's actually nice and easy for me to like put my hooded lid down and then be able to trace along where it should be. Oh, this is not bad. Not bad at all. But it is quite messy. Like now this side of my face is oily and that would mean that you would have to put on your face makeup after your eyeliner. But like who does that, you know? So while this method is good, kind of really not practical to a typical makeup routine. But my eyeliner looks good. Maybe I'll just only wear eyeliner, like nothing else. Next we have one that I've seen everywhere and it's the spoon method. However, I've seen it used different ways. Like I've seen some people do this, some people do this, some people do this. I like to use my spoon like this. So I don't know, how do I go about doing this? I'm assuming this is where I want it. My boyfriend's gonna be like, why is there fucking black shit on the spoon? Okay, so there's my line. I guess I just have to fill it in at this point. This one's not cutting it for me. That's a very, very sad, droopy line. <laughs> Maybe if I wanted more of like a Korean look where it's like a straighter line, could work. I even picked my favorite spoon for this one. Last one is to use a circular item to guide like the line of your eyeliner. Obviously that's the point of this video. Okay, here's a small circular, circular thing. And my eyes are small, so I think this might work better. <sighs> this is very stressful to me. Oh, oh man, I just got eyeliner all over my fingers. You, sir, go right here, I think. This is not working like at all. Okay, that's the line I'm gonna work with. So that's the outline that the circular thing gave me. Just gonna darken that. Here we go. And we play connect. My eye does not naturally do this. It doesn't go whoop. That's a horrible idea. Who comes up with this shit? 